This is Cardia, the proactive approach to heart health. Cardia makes it easy to give yourself an accurate medical grade electrocardiogram anywhere so you can track and analyze your heart health without a trip to the doctor. Cardia works with your smartphone, tablet, or Apple Watch to give you an accurate EKG in about 30 seconds. To use Cardia Band with your Apple Watch, select the Cardia app on the home screen. Open the app and tap here to record an EKG. Place your thumb on the electrode, and if you're experiencing any symptoms, say them aloud as the clock counts down from 30. I'm feeling tired all the time and having mild palpitations. When you're finished, you can save your results, cancel, or play your voice memo back to make sure you covered everything you want to tell your doctor. And that's it. You just gave yourself a medical grade EKG. Cardia is just as easy to use on your smartphone or tablet. Here's how Cardia Mobile works. Open the app and rest your fingers on the electrodes. A recording screen will appear. Describe any symptoms you're experiencing in a voice memo. I've been drinking more coffee than usual, and I think I'm having palpitations. If heart rhythm is normal, you'll know right away. And if atrial fibrillation is detected, your EKG can be shared with your doctor immediately. When the journal appears, you'll see your EKG and analysis results. From here, you can play your voice memo back, review and edit your EKG, or send your recording to your doctor. Use Cardia with the Cardia app to collect and share important data with your doctor, easily and securely. It's a proactive new approach to heart health and a breakthrough in personal medical technology. Four. Technology has given us an unprecedented window into the human body. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we're still in the dark about our own health. We are changing that. You okay? Do you feel okay? What if instead of fearing the worst when you notice something out of the ordinary, you could identify the condition yourself? Getting the right diagnosis would save you worry. It says it's roseola and an unnecessary doctor's visit. Rest at home, it's okay. Instead of hearing about a viral outbreak on the news, imagine you got an alert that was tailored to your family's needs. It would also give you advice about what to do next. What if you had a way to identify what was wrong right away? A way to get all of the information you need to understand the situation.
And in serious cases, you would know when and where to seek help. It recommends taking it to the urgent care. We're building a way for people to check their bodies as often as they check their email. It's all possible, and it's only the beginning. I'm White Coleman the third. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana, where I have an ophthalmology practice. Yeah, yeah, it's a good place. We're up here on Kilimanjaro, getting ready to do the first fundus photography ever done on the top of Kilimanjaro. If you've been to the ophthalmologist's office, you probably had your picture taken by a camera that's set on a stand and maybe a room by itself connected to a computer. This is the first device that is really affordable to almost anyone, anywhere, to be able to capture a picture of the back of the eye. This ophthalmoscope allows you to get a wide field view of the back of the eye through an undilated pupil, which is unique because a typical ophthalmoscope you would have used on you when you go to your general practitioner's office has about a five degree field of view which allows you to see only the optic nerve and maybe just a portion of it. What the panoptic does is allows you to have a 26 degree field of view so you can actually see the macula which is the center of your vision where your clear vision comes from and your optic nerve. Both important things in the back of the eye at once. We're sitting at 15,000 feet right now and we're headed up to the summit at 19,300 feet. I can't think of a whole lot more remote locations to demonstrate the ability to carry a very, very lightweight, portable, inexpensive device that will allow us to capture an image of the back of his eye on the summit. We just got here. This is famous air show pilot Sean D. Tucker. I'm White Coleman. Here we go. I want you to look at Dr. Ralph's head right there. Also, just as a bonus, we're going to transmit that image uh, to an ophthalmologist at Johns Hopkins University who's going to read it live and give us an interpretation. Now, I'm an ophthalmologist. I could do the interpretation, but just to prove the concept that in Sub-Saharan Africa, someone could take a picture of the back of the eye and have it read in the United States of America, I think it'll really demonstrate the concept that, that telemedicine of the retina is now possible on a, on a broad scale.